Now, the final thing we can do to customize our Illustrator interface is to perhaps change a couple of keyboard shortcuts. So those can be found under the Edit menu. Right down at the bottom, we have our Keyboard Shortcuts option. And you'll see that we have the ability to change both tools and different menu commands. Now, yes, whilst you can change tools, I, I really wouldn't recommend it. I mean, there's the occasional one that might make more sense. But because most of the tool shortcuts are consistent across the Adobe applications, it may get a bit confusing if you start changing them. But it's totally up to you. It's easy enough to do. What we're going to do is come in here and choose Menu Commands and come down and let's go under the Object section okay we'll scroll down a little bit more until we find the path setting which is right here okay now again a little further down we'll see an item called split into grid and this is something we're going to use a little bit later I think this would be very cool if I had a keyboard shortcut for it so what I'm going to do is click here in the empty area under the shortcut section and I'm just going to hold down Option, Shift, and Command, or Alt, Shift, Control on the PC, and G, okay? Now that will come up with a full keyboard shortcut in there. You can double check it. That now means we've assigned that keyboard shortcut to that function, and we can use it in future. So that's absolutely perfect. Now whilst that's done, I just want to go ahead and show you another item in here, which is very handy. Let's, let's close up Object here. And we'll scroll down towards the bottom where we can see Other Panel, okay? So open that up. Go further down here and you can see, which is very cool, we have keyboard shortcuts for creating new layers and also new layers bringing up a dialog box which allows us to name the layer as we create it. So these are two that have already been added inside the keyboard shortcuts as a default, but they're worth remembering because we're going to be adding layers later on. It's very, very cool that we now have keyboard shortcuts for these and this is something you had to do manually in the past. So just wanted to point that one out because it's not very apparent to start with. So we've made a change there to one of our keyboard shortcuts. We can go ahead and say OK. And because we've changed the default, we've now created a new set. So let's go ahead and name this Training Set. All right, we can click OK. And that now is stored inside our document. We can go ahead and close each of these documents down. OK, we can just click the Close button here inside each of these tabs. And when we get to the final one, what we can do, just an additional keyboard shortcut here I wanted to show you. Let's say in this instance we've got a document open but you can't see the close button on the left. Well, naturally you could go to the file menu and choose close. But just as an, an additional keyboard shortcut, if you need to get rid of your palettes at any time, just hit the tab key. Okay, very easy to do and that will reveal the document on its own. So, you know, you can go ahead and close it there. It's not the be all and end all. But the tab key, again, will bring them back in. And now you've really sort of got an idea now of how to open and organize all of the panels. We've created a new workspace. We've adjusted the preferences and the shortcuts. And I've also given you the fastest and most precise ways to navigate around the document. So I think this is a really, really good start. What we can do now is start to put these things into practice.